Tell me your thoughts on the performance these last two games. Yeah, I mean, definitely different performance, you know, you know, from the last two games, come off the ball, different mentality. You know, I said two weeks ago, I mean, a big thing for us was, you know, the, our mentality, coming to practice, you know, getting off the ball, staying low and, you know, exploding. So definitely, uh, definitely been working on it. And I think, uh, I think it's definitely, uh, you see on the field for sure. So against Houston, it was the first half and you, the offense looked really good. But th in this game against Central Florida, it was an entire game worth of impressive drives. How good is that feel for the offensive line? And that's the first thing that Coach Nehemiah says when we talk about the rushing numbers and the fullbacks doing well in the slots. And he says that that means the offensive line was getting the job done. Yeah, I mean, it's a great feeling. I mean, I mean to be honest with you, I, mean, I haven't felt like that, you know, last year. And this is the first time I felt like this, you know, being on the field. So, uh, you know, definitely a great feeling. And, you know, there's always things we need to work on. Um, so we keep working on them and, you know, bring those rushing yards up uh, more. So obviously starting with Houston and the coaching staff, decided to move you over to right guard and we're trying to get the best players on the field and they wanted to take a look at Luke Coleman and then Garrelson Bassanier who are two big bodies. Um, tell me that how was that transition for you? I believe you played some guard here before so it's not foreign. Actually I yeah, know I've never played guard before. Oh, you had No that was my first time playing guard. Okay, I'm uh, sorry. No, it's you okay. Tackle? No, I've always played center here. Okay. Uh, I played center at Naps too. Um, it's definitely different, you know, I'm used to you know snapping the ball and getting off, you know, fast. So I'm kinda of sitting there a little longer. Um, it's also weird, you know, I'm used to somebody being right on top of me too. Now I'm, you know, uh, free a little bit. Um, so it's definitely fun playing guard though. I'm right. Good movement for me, so. And do you feel like you're making the adjustment fairly quickly or are you still, you know, getting adjusted to it? No, I think, I'm, I think I'm making the adjustment quickly. Um, obviously, you know, still things I need to work on. Um, but, you know, I feel good out there. So that's all you can ask for. And so what about the Young Bucks? I mean, you played like, alongside Coleman against Houston for the most part and now Darrelson against uh, Central Florida, how do you feel those two younger, younger fellas are doing? Oh, great. I mean, you know, obviously, like you said, bigger guys, you know, can get moving off the ball, which is what we needed. Um, you know, that make an adjustment fast and quick, so that's what we need. So we've seen that the best way for Navy to beat these high-powered offenses in the AAC is to keep them off the field. Mm -hmm. And you got another one coming in here, SMU. I mean, these long, methodical drives, 10, 11, 12 plays, mm -hmm. that's the ticket, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, we talked about it last, you know, last week, you know, holding the ball for 40 minutes. That's always been our goal. Um, same goal this week. You know, like you said, I mean, we had 16 play drives last week. I mean, that's what we need to do as an offense: eat up the clock. You know, obviously with the high-powered offenses and the AAC, you know, keep our defense off the field and keep us on the field and score points at the end of the drive. All right. So, thanks a lot, Pierce. Yes, sir. Hey, Pierce, Thank you. One more quickly, uh, just with the top 25 team coming to Indianapolis, how'd you guys continue momentum going from last week into this week? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a great opportunity. You know, last time SMU was on, you know, here they were a top 25 team too. I think ranked 21. So. You know, obviously keep the same mentality we have, come off the ball and, you know, smack some people. Perfect. Darrelson, you got put in at center and you did a pretty good job. Uh, kind of talk about how it felt to get out there, first career start, and guess what happens? Navy runs wild. Right. It's great. I mean, you know, it's every kid's dream, you know, get out there on the field. And I feel like I really pursued that dream of mine and being able to get the starting spot, especially as a sophomore. I know not a lot of people, like, you know, get that chance to play until even their senior year or, or even at all. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely blessed, and I plan on you know uh, making everyone proud uh, within like the brotherhood and stuff. So in high school, were you a center? Were you a guard? What position did you play? <laughs> uh, in high school, I was pretty much all of it. Uh, I think I started. I started off at center, mm -hmm. then moved to guard, and then moved to tackle. And then senior year, I was kind of just playing wherever uh, wherever the our opponent's best player was. Pretty much right. the best they defense player. Move you to take pretty much, that guy. Right. yes, sir. Right, one on one. So ha playing center here at Navy, it's a major major thing because. They're under center every play, and yes, you're not shotgunning. And I don't know if your previous experience at center was shotgun snaps or under, you know, <laughs> but you, you, this is a really important position in this offense. Yes, sir. Um, so you're asking, like, what's, like, how, what's how, it, how is it, like, adjusting to? Yeah, how are you doing as okay. to the position? Um, definitely it was weird. Uh, I went to Naps, so I definitely I had a year to kind of get used to the, you know, the four-point stance. And I thought it was weird at first. In, you know, in high school, I was mostly shotgun. Uh, not too much under center, and then I kind of made that transition at Naps. And uh, I went through a tough time, but uh, I think it really helped out. I, I kind of just built uh, some what's the word, like muscle memory for it, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, obviously, um, the, one of the reasons Coach Staff put in, you in there is you're a big fella. You're 315 pounds, I don't right. know, give or take. Uh, <laughs> you had a big breakfast, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Um, but, and you were moving some guys out. And the other hard thing about being a center is you've got to snap the ball, make sure you've got that right first, and then hurry up and get on somebody. I mean, that's not easy. No, sir. No, it's not. Uh, high school, everything was kind of dumbed down. You know, it's block this person, block that person. But 
being in college now, like uh, they're kind of teaching us to read certain things. And like I said, I, I still kind of got to get used to the, the snapping and stuff. So it's kind of hard, you know, being able to read the defense, and especially with our offense, you know, we've got a lot of blitzes coming through. Mm -hmm. So uh, kind of picking up on that's kind of tough. But uh, I think I'm, I think I'm kind of getting a, a look for it and uh, starting to become a, a habit to kind of pick up certain guys, knowing who's gonna, right. you know, blitz a a gap and you know who's who's kind of slanting over. Like it's kind of hard to go into detail, but like, right. like I said, I think I'm kind of getting a feel for it. Um, so does it help to have a really smart guy like Pierce Banbury next to you who can help you out? Because I mean, he knows this offense just as well as some of the coaches at this point. Right. Yes, sir. Definitely. Um, there's a couple times on the line where I'm like. I'm trying to make my call. I'm just like, you know, I'm too busy looking at the linebacker, and then I just look over. It's like, you know, Pierce. Uh, you know, I was just, are we doubling this guy, or yeah, am I going, am I going straight up? And he's just like, it kind of give me. You, know, you don't want to give it away, but it's just like, you know, just point at someone. Like, yeah, get him, and you know, it kind of helps out a lot, right. definitely. Right. So I mean, it's got to be good to get a full game under your belt. That's a lot of snaps. You're going to be better against SMU than you were against UCF, just yes, by the mere fact that the experience, a game experience. Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, you're saying like getting a lot of snaps for this past game is, it should help a lot. Well, well, the experience of? you gained in this game, do you feel like you'll be better in the next game? Oh, okay, yeah, um, yeah, definitely. I, I think you know running a bunch of bunch of plays in a row, uh, like that first uh, the first touchdown drive we had. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of you know I was running out of air. And normally we'll run about about like five eight plays in a row. Right, I think that one was like 12 or 14. Right. I was like <laughs> I, I was dying. I, I don't know if anyone saw it. Like you know that that touchdown we scored, I was kind of just like. I didn't run up. I was too tired to run up and celebrate. But I was like, "Yeah, you feel me from a distance." But um, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it, it, you know, in the game, I, I think, I think I definitely got a lot of, you know, a sense for what Navy football really is, and um, I'm kind of looking forward to building on that with this next game at SMU. What did you think of the job Darrelson did in his, his first collegiate start? Uh, I thought he did a good job. A lot of things he can clean up, uh, but as I mentioned, you know, last time we spoke, he's a really talented kid. Mm -hmm. um, just a sophomore. The first meaningful snaps he'd played was against Houston. I think he played 18 snaps. He played 54 this past week. Uh, still rotated him and Luke a little bit. Did Luke get in some? Yeah, he did. I think snaps. he played about 25 snaps. Okay. Um, so um, very talented young man. Uh, is going to continue to get better and better. Working really hard. So yeah, I'm excited about him. Looking at Darrelson, I mean, he is just a load. I mean, his lower body is like a tree trunk. Right. I mean, is that the power? Is that where the power comes from? Or the drive people down? The yeah, he's uh, super explosive. He's super, super strong. Uh, he's not getting knocked back, um, but he is an athlete too now. So, mm -hmm. if we can just keep, keep, keep working with him, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna do the things we ask him to do. Uh, get a little more experience. Get a little more savvy. I think it, he's got a chance to be one of the better ones we've had here. Well, one thing he did mention while we were talking to him, he said on the one long drive, he's said by the end. When everybody ran into the end zone to celebrate, he's just like, hi. <laughs> he said he was wiped out because he's not used to 12, 14 play drives. Yeah. I guess that's something that'll come right. in time, right? So uh, I think it was 14 plays, and he's a big boy. <laughs> and it was it was warm. Uh, he set out the next series. Right. So uh, it's nice to have two guys. Right. So, uh, But he'll get better and better as he plays more with his conditioning. Also, as the weather changes, I think, I think he's going to continue to do well. And so... I mean, a lot of times you will combo block, and, and I'm starting to see why Banbury, in combination with a big center like a Luke Coleman or a Daryl Masani I, um, that's a nice deal. I yeah. mean, that, that works out pretty well. I mean, you like what you're getting out of Pierce at right guard. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Uh, and the tackles did a great job, too. So there were a lot of double teams between Pierce and Kip Franklin. There were a lot of double teams with Josh Pena and Casavella. Uh, Jake Casavella, who obviously we lost. Um, but yeah, anytime we can get movement up front and we can hand the ball off to the fullback 25, 27 times and keep moving the ball, keep moving the chains, it's going to be a good day for us. Um, and so the perimeter yardage, which I mean, we've been waiting for the slot backs to get going and they, they did in this game, Carlino Sacy leading the way. But is, how much of that is the offensive line and how much is that the perimeter blockers getting a job done? I think it all goes hand in hand. They, they did a great job on the perimeter, but the fact that we could run the fullback holds linebackers, holds safeties. Now you can take the ball on the perimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I think it's all of it. You know, those guys did a good job too. So you mentioned Jay Casabella. He left the game late. Is is he, how's he looking? Does he look like he's going to be back or? Uh, he's most likely out for the season. Really? Yeah. That's yep. a shame. And yep. can you talk about Jake? Cause I thought he was playing really well. 
you talked about you know preseason he was one of the better looking offensive linemen you had yep. across the the unit yeah he, he was playing great football he's a tough kid uh, we'll get him back we'll just have to kind of see where it goes uh, at this point, we're moving forward with Bryce Teixeira, who came in and played really well for him, and Sam Glover, another sophomore that we're super excited about. Just got a lot of ability. Um, we will figure out as we get closer to the game who's going to start at left tackle. Between Glover and Teixeira? Yes. But I also saw uh, during your team drill here, a big 75 was playing out on the left tackle. Was, who's That's that? Glover, right? Oh, that was yeah. Glover. Okay. I'm, I'm not good with numbers, but that, that was Sam Glover. That was Sam Glover. Yeah. Oh, he's a pretty big boy. He is. Right. Sophomore, athletic, went to the prep school. Uh, got a lot of ability, so we don't see we don't, we don't think there will be a drop off. Right. Uh, we hate losing Jake, but we'll just keep trucking. So how is Josh Payne doing? He's doing great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he is a really good football player. He's athletic, not the biggest guy in the world. Uh, super meticulous. I mean, really cares. Uh, understands what we're doing. Is going to get better and better. Um, there will be some times Saturday we'll have four sophomores in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and some a lot of underclassmen playing, and they're all really talented, and we're really excited about all of them. And is Kip Franklin giving you what you want over at right tackle? Yeah, he's doing a great job. He's playing really well. He's playing as well as he's ever played. Uh, you he told me he's kind of a guy that moves well, can get second level, right? Yeah, he's, he's athletic. Uh, he can move, but he's good at the point of attack, so he's doing a great job.